Hi, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this short video. We've had some questions about the new Leadership Council structure, and so I just wanted to answer a few of them for you today. So, uh, last year and several years before that, we had a leadership uh, team. And the leadership team was made up of folks doing the work of Staff Parish, which is our human relations work, the folks doing work uh, related to our finances, so staff parish, finance, and trustees. The folks take caring, taking care of our buildings and our assets. And so that was the leadership team, and the leadership team was about nine people doing all of that work. And what we realized was that that's a lot of work for a few folk, and that we had other really important things that we needed leadership to take care of. And so, at the beginning of this year, we changed the leadership team to the leadership council. And so we went from about nine folks making uh, a lot of the decisions of the church to about 20, 21 folk making uh, the decisions for the church. Uh, so the leadership team became the leadership council. The leadership council is uh, broken into three teams. So the old leadership team, staff, parish, trustees, and finance, is now the administrative team. And they're still doing all that super important work for us. Then we have what's called the guide team. The guide team is the old nominations group. And instead of meeting just a little bit of the year, the guide team now meets throughout the year. And what the guide team does is they guide people onto various paths uh, here in the congregation. So it might be a path of connection or a path of friendship or a path of discipleship or a path of serving or a path of leading. So the guide team are really important connectors, helping folks feel connected, feel like they belong, feel like they can use uh, their gifts and graces uh, for the glory of God. Uh, the last group that is a part of the leadership uh, council is the vision team. vision team is doing big picture work. They're doing deep dives into uh, studying things and discerning things like what does the community look like around our church? Um, what would be uh, a great mission statement for our church, vision statement for our church? Uh, many, many things uh, that we need some folks looking after uh, in the life of our congregation. And so those three teams, the administrative team, the guide team, and the vision team, all of those folks now make up the leadership council. Uh, each of those teams meets once a month, and then once a quarter, all of the teams meet together. And uh, you are invited to come to those once a quarter meetings and uh, hear the reports of all the things that are going on in our congregation. Uh, there'll be uh, reports from those teams, but there may also be reports from other ministries of the church. It's a way for us to better communicate with one another, better collaborate with one another, better connect with one another.